A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown His great mercy toward her, and they rejoiced with her. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, No, he will be called John. But they answered her, There is no one among your relatives who has this name. So they made signs, asking his father what he wished him to be called. He asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name. And all were amazed. Immediately, his mouth was opened, his tongue freed, and he spoke, blessing God. Then, fear came upon all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart, saying, What then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was with him. The child grew and became strong in spirit, and he was in the desert until the day of his manifestation to Israel. The Gospel of the Lord The hand of the Lord was with him. The greatness of John is seen in the great emphasis Luke gives to the announcement of his birth. Except for Mary and John, nobody else had a crucial place in the history of salvation. Jesus calls John the greatest of all those who had preceded him. Yet the least in the kingdom, Jesus says, is still greater than he. John lived ascetically in the desert a traditional place of finding God. His purpose was to prepare the way for Jesus. The attractiveness of the person of John, his austerity, his fierce courage in denouncing evil, all stem from his total placing of his life within the will of God.